this couch, don't you? Mm. Sorry, I couldn't sleep. Yeah, it looked like you were doing a fine job of it just now. Yeah, well, I must have finally nodded off. Are you sure you don't want to see someone about this? I am seeing someone. Deep sleep. Oh, that's great. I slept last night. Oh, yeah? I had a dream, too. And what'd you dream about? I dreamt that I was a police officer. Yeah. I wonder where he got that notion. Yeah, and I had a police dog with me. Mm. Why don't you have a police dog, Dad? Because that's the canine unit. I'm not in the canine unit. When I grow up, that's what I'm going to be, in the canine unit. No, you're not. No. Say it with me. Sports medicine. Sports medicine? Mm. Can we get a dog, Dad? Ask your mother. Can we? FDA, we're conducting an unannounced spot check. I don't know anything about a spot check. That's why we call them unannounced. Yeah, but nobody... How about you wrote on your window? Okay, I'm done being nice. Judicial Code 842, Section 10, gives our office complete jurisdiction over this facility. Do you understand that? Look, I can't see your face. I know nothing about this. I don't know... Uh, uh, Never mind. Either you open the gate, or we open it for you. Listen, I still need to phone to sin. So can you roll down the window? Neutralize the guard. What are you doing? Research. Seems important. Bet your ass it is. Boat, RV. I'm in a quandary here. Boats are nice. Yes, but they're limited. See, the seasons play a factor, then you got a dry dock, a trailer, a lot of hidden costs involved. RVs, you gotta clean your own toilet water. <laughs> yeah, that's a sizable drawback. Yeah, already cruising down to 57, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. We still got work to do. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey, what are you doing with Gamma Star? Now, some of that 35 Gs of missing computer equipment turned up at Cosmos Pawn Shop. Hey, when? A few days ago. Dexter Manning. Did he get out yet? Yep. Dexter's been out on parole for over a year now, and he's working at none other than... Gamma Star. Check out the chickens. Check out the chickens. Secure the staff and wait for my signal. Not to be alarmed! You are not an 
our agenda today, but you're slaughtering of innocent animals here. Yes. So, so, please, please move away. Please, 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 please
Ribs are broken. Got a lousy air entry. We need him on the ambulance now. Charge 300. Clear. Still V fib. Charge 360. Clear. Charge 360. Clear. It's okay, Dad. It's okay. What happened? You had an accident. Where's Archie? He's at my sister's. Sisters. How long have I been out? Two days. You've been out for two days. I don't remember anything. Flashes. Cadillac. We were in pursuit. Tom. Didn't make it. No. I'm so sorry. You said it's a miracle that you're alive right now. Your heart stopped. So close, Jack. I love you. I love you too. I'll get your doctor. Tell him you're awake. Doc. Hello. Am I going to be here much longer? No. Not for very much longer. Hey, is it true that my heart stopped? Yes. That's what it said in the report. Yes. Open up, please. <sighs> How's he doing, Doc? He's OK. He'll be uh, right like rain in a little while. Uh, carry on. I'll be uh, right back. Hey, man. You look like eight miles a bad road. Yeah, it's good to see you, too, Captain. How you feeling? I've been better. Tom. Yeah. How's his family? Strong. Family cops, you know. I know the details are probably a bit sketchy right now, but I gotta ask, because we are getting nowhere on this. What do you got? Group calls themselves ALT, Animal Liberation Team. Called into TV station, clean credit. Tree hookers. Mm -hmm, that's what it looks like. That doesn't make sense. They had some high-tech firepower in full auto. <laughs> Talk about it. But those are the only shots fired. The inside was completely vandalized, but nothing was stolen. No one was seriously injured. Am I interrupting? Hey, Kate, how you doing? OK. Well, I'll ask my questions later. Just came by to see how you were doing. Why not give you two some time? Oh, Jack, FBI isn't on this, so when you're feeling up to it, there'll be some questions. I'm up to it. Hey, you take care of yourself. Keep an eye on him, Kate. I will. Bye, Gloria. Bye-bye.
have good news for me. No. There were police everywhere. There were doctors and nurses. There was nothing I could do. I understand. I understand that you're an incompetent fool. No. He, you don't have to worry about the thing that's here. He, he took a hit on his head or something. He doesn't remember anything. Liar! No. I swear, I heard the other doctors talking about it. You realize the importance of this mission, do you? Of course, I do. And if anything should get in our way, nothing is going to stop us. That is correct. That is why you're going to find this Officer Barnes, and you're going to kill him. Am I clear? Yes. I will take care of it. Good. Heaven like. Wonderful, I guess. I don't know, I've never been. Well, then, where did you go when you died? Who told you I died? Aunt Cheryl. Well, I came back at all. So I guess I, I wasn't dead. Then what were you? Jack, what are you doing? I had a bad feeling. So you decided to start cleaning? It was an earthquake. An earthquake? A big one. You've been under a lot of stress. This wasn't like a dream. This was, this was so real. People were dying. Honey, you had a nightmare. That's all. Crazy, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
earthquake that shook the greater metropolitan area yesterday. Early estimates already put the cost of the damage in the hundreds of thousands and could reach as much as the millions by the end of the day. can start collecting on my pension? I don't think so. Man, I cannot believe they let your sorry ass out already, Barnes. My medical coverage ran out. Hey, good to see you, Jack. How are you feeling, man? I'm okay. Well, we're glad to have you back. How's still standing? Uh, nobody heard. Nothing short of a miracle. Anybody get a make on that vehicle we were chasing? We found the car a few blocks away, completely sanitized. The VIN was scraped off, and the plates were stolen from another car. Sounds real professional for an animal rights group. A bunch of very expensive equipment was vandalized, a bunch of stupid slogans spray-painted, and everyone got a chicken blood shower. The guards were knocked out with dart guns, the kind they use on lions, big animals. Someone's idea of irony, I guess. Irony? They shut out our tires with HK full auto. Mm -hmm. Not exactly the vegetarian's choice of weapons. Oh, I agree with you there. Any photos? Video surveillance? There are a few closed circuit cameras, but as you know, the perps are wearing George Bush masks. It just doesn't add up. I mean, they use dark guns so they don't kill anybody. But as soon as Tom and I show up, they unleash on us with full firepower. Well, the whole case went federal under the Homeland Securities Act. Uh-oh. Speaking of the feds. Detective Barnes? Look, I'll see you in a bit. I'm Special Agent Brown, FBI. This is Special Agent Boston. We have a couple of routine questions for you, Detective. Unless this is a bad time. No, now it's fine. Is there somewhere we can talk? Yeah. No. I understand you lost a partner. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks. Heard you had a bit of trouble yourself. I'm fine. Look, we can cut the niceties and get straight to the questions. OK, then. Why don't you tell us what you saw at the Gamma Star plant that morning? I, I got to tell you, I don't think it was a bunch of animal activists. My theory is. Why don't you just tell us what you saw? A black late model Cadillac. A suspect in a George Bush mask shot out our tires. We commandeered a vehicle, gave chase, and I guess you already know the rest. See, actually, we don't. That's why we're asking you. Now, why don't you tell us what you were doing at Gamma Store that morning? Maybe it was just bad timing for you. We were investigating a known perp, a guy named Dexter Manning. You really expect us to believe that Manning had something to do with these eco-terrorists? I didn't say that. You did. So what? It was just a fluke that you arrived at that hour. Perhaps it was fate. You actually implicating me in this? Or just saying it's a real bad coincidence for you, Detective? Well, I wish I had more. That's all I can remember. <laughs> Feeling all right, Detective? Why? Why are you sweating? Am I right, Special Agent Boston? Yeah. yeah. Buckets. He sustained a significant injury. Correct? Are we done? I'm not feeling so hot. Yeah, I think so. Unless, Unless you, you have something you'd like, like to add, Special Agent Boston. No, I think that's all for now. Yeah, I think we're done. Okay. Yeah. 
I gotta get going. Slow down. Those agents just came by my office. What's going on, Jack? They're trying to implicate me in what happened at Gamma Star. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong here, but who cares what they think? Tom was a great officer. Killed in the line on my watch. Of course I care about this. But I am not gonna blur the line here. This is federal now, Jack. There's protocol. So give it a rest. Go home, get some rest. It's not your problem. Tom's my partner. You bet this is my problem. I need to talk to you. Sorry. Please. Please. You're in danger. Please, I'm with my child. Something bad is gonna happen. Please leave us alone, please. You don't understand. No. Hey, is there a problem please, here? It's... Lady, are you okay? There's no problem. Look, I'm a... You're a what? He's a maniac. He was threatening us. Okay, buddy. Oh. Oh. Don't get on the train. Oh. Hold it. Jay, could you finish in your room? 
Okay. Thanks, honey. Are you okay? seeing things. Is this about the other day, the earthquake? No. I don't know, maybe. I had a vision. Now they're visions? Okay, please. Right? Visions, dreams, whatever. They're so real. And the people, the sounds, they're pain. Pain. Yeah, pain. I had a vision that the metro derailed. People died. I felt like I knew them, like, like I could see it happening. I don't understand. I went down there, Kate. I went down to the frickin' metro, okay? I, I saw people. I recognized them. I started acting like a lunatic. Anyway, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Jack, they're just dreams. The earthquake was a coincidence. And this train nonsense? You want to know what I think? You barely slept before the accident. Lord knows you haven't slept a wink since. A person has to sleep, has to dream. Personally, I feel like it's your subconscious taking over, like you're daydreaming or something. Kate, it's, I'm not daydreaming. No? Earthquakes? Trains derailing? Listen to yourself. They're all metaphors, Jack. You lost your partner. You almost died yourself. You feel like you're losing your grip on your own mortality. And these kinds of dreams are normal. I don't have to be a shrink to tell you that. Maybe you're right. I know I'm right. That's why you married me. I'll make you some caramel tea. It'll help you sleep. Yeah. No, I'm a tea drinker. I hate tea. You want to tell me what all that says? It says you're fine, Jack. But if I may be so blunt, you don't look fine. And I don't need to know you for 20 years to tell you that. You really know how to boost a guy's spirits, don't you, Doc? I just like to see a guy take a little better care of himself is all. Given your recent accident, I guess you're excused. So I'm fine. EKG, EEG, CAT scan, they're all perfectly normal. I would say that given the circumstances, you're doing remarkably well. In the dreams? Yeah, a little out of my league. But knowing you, I would say that lack of sleep is a probable cause. Don't underestimate the power of a solid eight hours. The body needs it. Mm. 
when they said I was dead, was I? Well, now, there's a subjective question. Medically speaking, yes, absolutely. But philosophically, from a spiritual perspective, out of my area of expertise, there's a lot we don't know. Our instruments are nowhere near as sophisticated as the human brain. So what are you saying? That I saw the train wreck on TV or on a newscast, but thought I didn't? I'm saying you're worrying too much. The stress of losing a partner, the trauma your body went through, it all takes its toll. I'm gonna write you a prescription. Yeah, we'll see how you're doing in a few days. I can't take any medication, Doc. I won't be able to carry a gun. They won't let me work. Jack, I think your recovery would be best served by some rest away from the stress of your work. I'd be more than happy to fill out the necessary papers. I saw the train. I saw it. A lot of people believe that Nostradamus predicted the rise of Adolf Hitler 500 years before World War II. There's just some things that can't be explained. Follow me. Let's see what we got here, huh? Oh, yeah, let's see. Vargas, do I know you? I know you, Jack. And I know you've been seeing things. You don't know anything about me. I've had dreams, too. Dreams about you. Listen, fruitcake. I don't know if this is some kind of joke, but... This is no joke. Something's coming. Something much bigger. Tell me your visions. Listen, I don't know what you overheard, but... People are in trouble, Jack. The visions. I can help you. Help yourself, clown. Jack! Wait!
Some dirtbag just tried to off me. What? Remember that doctor from the hospital? Not really. The nervous one, the one with the, the foreign accent? Only he's not a doctor. He just tried to kill me. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Gamma Star. Look, something big is going on. Something bigger than pissed off tree huggers. Look, I already told you. The whole thing went to the feds. You know, running around like you are, you are going to bury yourself, Jack. You come on to something. Like there was an ambulance leaving Gamma Star just as we arrived. I think they took something out of there. Listen, I know it sounds nuts, but you gotta listen to me. Right? Something big is going down. I gotta talk to Dexter Manning. The feds are all over me. If you get caught, you were never here. We never had this conversation. Like a ghost. You know, Jack, you almost were. You have failed me twice now. While he is still walking the streets, we are in jeopardy. Do you understand? I will not fail you again. No. Come back here. It's too late for that. It is time to clean up your mess. Today is now the day of reckoning for our friend Dexter Manning. Manning? Manning is one of us. Because why? He got us into Gamistar? He's a thief and a liar, and was well paid for his service. Tell me, do you think Dexter Manning would be willing to die for the cause, huh? No, no. Do you think he'd be willing to kill for us then? Probably no, probably no. You see? You fool. Let me show you something. Rafi, come here. Come here. It's safe for you to see what we're doing now. I want you to see something. Rafi, you and I grew up together on the streets of Grozny. And you know me as well as anyone. You're the head and I was the heart. Do you know what we are doing here? We are going to kill tens of thousands of people, Rafi. Tens of thousands. Do you doubt that I would kill for what I know to be right? This is the shape jars we are setting in the building next door. When the explosion reaches the superheated cobalt two floors above, it will spew radioactivity for miles in all directions, shattering the lives of thousands of people. You're a good friend, Rafi. good soldier now. He was willing to die for our cause even though he didn't know it. Now, you go find this Dexter Manning and you kill him. Do you understand? Yes. Yes.
relax, Dexter. I want to ask you a few questions. I want to know why you stole those computers and what's in it for you. I don't know nothing, man. I don't buy it. I heard about your partner, man. That's so wrong. Hey, man, you can't do this. You're five old, man. I want to see my lawyer, man. I'm losing my patience, Dexter. You're going to give me some answers now. What do they want the computers for? I don't know, man. Not your problem? How'd they contact you? They just came to me, man. Don't lie to me, Dexter. I fought. Treat a man for loaning you his car in a time of need. I don't understand. They're becoming more painful, aren't they? Like your head was in a vice. How do you know that? <laughs> I'm psychic, Jack. Who are you, Fargus? What's going on? First, your vision tunnels. Then the hair on the back of your neck stand. Then your arms. Then your heart begins to pound. And wham! Visions, images, glimpses into events yet to happen. Premonitions. How do you know this? I also have premonitions. Wanna know what I see? You. Me. You die, Jack. You crossed over into a world that we know very little about. A world that doesn't play by our rules. Something happened there. You've been touched, Jack. We both have. Touched by what? The future. Why me? That I can't answer. But what I can answer is that it is you. People are gonna die, Jack, and you have a chance to stop it. Accident, an explosion, uh, somewhere in the city. When? I don't know. Uh... Wait. Four o'clock. If that's today, it's in twenty minutes. We gotta do something.
Okay, Jack, you've got to focus. Concentrate on the images. Try to slow them down in your mind. Stay with it, Jack. Describe what you saw. I can't. The, the images, it's too fast. That's good enough, Jack. Come on. People. <laughs> Workers, they're uh, on the street. Yeah. A building, they're, they're underneath it. Good, good. What did it look like? The, the building, the, what district? Older buildings. Downtown. Landmarks, Jack. Landmarks. Think. It's, uh, people walking by, hey? They're working on something, uh, they're working on, uh, they're working on pipes. Yeah. Gas lines. Good, good. Where? Oh, my God, there's, I see sparks. Somebody's using a grinder. Okay, where? No, I can't, my head. Stay with it. It's, uh, 79th Street Power Plant. Okay, good, good, good. Oh my God, those people, they're in danger. Okay, okay, make a right. Ready? name are you? Gloria, there's a gas leak at 79th Street Power Plant. You're gonna have to call out EMS crews right now. EMS crews, was there an explosion? There will be. All right, look, I, I can't explain. Please. Jack, slow down. You're not making any sense. You know, clear the block. Okay, I'll send some backup. Send a few cars out to 79th Street. See what's going on out there. This one tie in with the main? I don't think so. Mm, yeah, we should check this out. We're not gonna make it. station on 79th Street. Eyewitnesses from miles around claim to have seen plumes of smoke and flames rising hundreds of feet into the sky, and thick smoke is blanketing the city for months. A word of what can be seen from our news chopper within the hour. We'll have more on this story as it develops. The fact of the matter is we must look at this event from a geological perspective. The recent earthquake has essentially weakened the city's infrastructure in a way that's not readily detectable. Seventy ninth Street Power Station are events that can be linked directly to the earthquake. It was only a matter of time before farther stress on the joint from normal use caused the Although there is not yet an official report on today's explosion that rocked the 79th Street power station, preliminary reports suggest that subterranean gas lines located directly beneath the power station were ruptured during the earthquake. It is not uncommon for the gas pressure alone to exacerbate the airline traffic to the point of I think it's important for the public to look at the big picture here and not to come to quick conclusions. These are not acts of terrorism. What we're experiencing are the cumulative effects of a single tragic geological event. I don't think we can stress this point enough. Years running rampant, Jack, people jump to their own. Is that you? Space 
on the wrong information. Where have you been? I had to take care of a few things. A few things? Jack, it's three in the morning. Yeah. What did the doctor say? Uh, everything checked out great. Don't lie to me. Everything's fine. No, everything is not fine. What do you want from me, Kate? I want my husband back. I'm right here. No, you're not right here. You haven't been right here since the accident. Why are you doing this to me? You know what I'm going through. No, I don't, because you don't tell me anything. But it's more than that. It's these dreams. What do you call them? Visions that you're having. It's you're coming and going. Look, I just want to know what's going on. And I don't know. Stop asking me questions that I can't answer. There's something wrong with you. You're sick. Talk to me, Jack. What do you want to know? That I'm being chased by people I don't know? That the FBI thinks that I have something to do with what happened at Gamma Star? That these visions that I am having are coming true? Who do I turn to when I don't even know what the hell is going on? It's cobalt. Oh my god. If I'm right and there is cobalt missing from Gamma Star, then just one stick of it could make the entire city uninhabitable. Thousands of people would die from cancer. And you'd have to pour concrete over the entire city within a 50 mile radius. And how did this stuff wind up at Gamma Star? It's what they used to sterilize me. What happened last night? How did you know about that explosion? I can't explain that to you right now. Well, you need to. Because the boys at the Bureau are asking a lot of questions. And I don't have answers to any of them. You're just going to have to trust me. I do trust you. But you've got to be smart. The Feds want your badge. This eco-terrorist thing was just a cover for them to lift Cobalt out of Gamma Star. That's why only one security camera was spray painted over. The whole thing was an invert. I checked. There was no 911 call placed. And no independent company sent an ambulance to Gamma Star that day. Exactly. Hey, Captain, they found Dexter Manning shot dead in his apartment. CSU there? All night. They're lifting prints off everything, but it's a bloody mess. And uh, they want to talk to Barnes. This footage was taken less than an hour before the train wreck. He obviously recognizes this woman, and they begin to argue. That's the guard that filed the report. He specifically told her not to get on that train. You think Barnes caused a train accident? He was there. Paper said it was structural damage from the earthquake. Yes, so maybe it was designed to look like that. Now, why was Detective Barnes so interested in this Dexter Manning character? He has a theory. 
Yeah, look, we heard about his theory. He believes that radioactive material was lifted from the Gamma Star plant. Let me tell you something, Captain. The cards are not stacking up too well for Barnes. You see, we believe his involvement goes a lot deeper. Now he's desperate. No. You don't know Jack Barnes. He's a good man. Get the tape. Who really knows anyone? Tell me we can stop these things from happening. I don't know, Jack. We can try. of how the First World War started, written before it happened. And? That's not the only one. Now, there are many other cases. Nostradamus, Casey, Lloyd. They all died and came back. What triggers it differs. But they all had the visions, the premonitions. It is a rare gift, Jack. It doesn't feel like a gift. It's impossible. You're looking at time and life like, a, like it was a linear process. Uh, in the cosmic unconscious, everything is known simultaneously. On another level, we already know everything that's happened. And everything that will. I'm remembering the future. Exactly. What's that picture? I know that platoon. It was an operation, top secret. There was an ambush, gunfire. The soldier was hit. Bad. It was you. You were in the helicopter. You, you died. I did. But I came back, revived. Just like you, Jack. An event will happen, Jack. The key to stopping it is in your head. That's not very comforting. No. It won't be. Trust me, Jack. You saved me once. Now it's my turn. Where's the detective? He's nowhere to be found. He's hiding like a rat. Then you should not have come back! 
He will bring this whole thing down. I've got something for you in the van. Hmm? His son. His firstborn? His only son. Hmm? Hmm? You have brought me an equally valuable treasure, Goron. It's all right. Now, he will have to come to me. Good. Bring the boy. Okay. My God. It's gonna be okay. My son. My son is missing. Look, I know. I know. We're gonna find him. I promise you that. I don't even know where Jack is. Look, we're gonna find RJ. We're gonna find Jack. And we're gonna find out what's going on. I promise you. <laughs> The plan is still intact. Intact. It is now better than planned. Do you hear this? Do you hear the radio? Do you hear what is going on in the streets? As to the nature of the blast that rocked a downtown street last night, but sources implicate that there could be terrorist activity involved. and be roaming the streets, chasing their tails. Let them. Soon they will know the price to pay. Our time is now. We move. Tonight. You okay? Yeah. You saved my life. That makes us even. Yeah. Look, I gotta go get my son. You do that. All right. Lost a lot of blood. Get out of here. Call 911 and give them my location. Gordon, go this way. Make sure nobody follows you. Meet me on the roof. Just got a 911 call. 
Witness reports a massive shootout at a garage downtown. Detective Jack Barnes is on the scene, and a SWAT team is on the way. Yeah, this is Special Agent Brown. I need chopper support immediately. Right. Let's go. It's on the timer. When the timer goes off, it will ionize the cobalt, spreading it like the wind to the four corners of the city. So you see, detective, no one will survive. Either way, you lose. Either way, the entire city, including you and your son, We'll die! Listen, this doesn't have to go down like this. Killing millions of people is never the answer. For my beliefs, detective, it is the only answer. It is the only solution. The 
wasting no time. We gotta clear the building. Move! Move! Everybody out! Why don't you let my son go? I'm the one you want. I'm right here. <laughs> you stupid cowboy! I will count to three. And if you don't come out here, I will put a hole in your precious son's head. One! Two! Thank you. 